Hello, my lovely Taurus. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your February bonus reading. And this reading is all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, Taurus, that is who this reading is intended for. Now, it is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And they are still on sale for Valentine's Day. Tomorrow is the last day to get your orders in for the sale. I have two separate love spreads available, one for new love and the next love coming towards you. And the second spread is for either a past or current person. And that takes a look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions, and a potential outcome. Now, both of those are on sale for $25. And I also have Zoom readings available on sale for $50. And everything that you guys will need to know about scheduling that is in the description box below for you. Got some of these turned around here. So we are going to go ahead and pray and get started. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Taurus. Please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Taurus's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. I can't seem to keep up from turning around on me here. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. Okay, we have getting to know each other. I guess it's one of the ones that worked, did turn around. I guess it was meant for you. I don't know what to do. Forever changed. And in it for the wrong reasons at the bottom of the deck. To me, I really do feel, Taurus, that this is, you guys could be meeting somebody. This does feel like either somebody you're about to meet or something that's fairly new, okay? We're going to take a look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. To me, I do feel like there's somebody here who, who can't help themselves but feel some kind of interest in you or chemistry between the two of you, especially the more that you guys get to know each other. Right? And I feel like there's a part of them that does want to get to know you. I do, however, feel like they have dealt with somebody who has either like used them or betrayed them in the past. Somebody who was maybe in the connection for the wrong reasons could have strung them out, uh, like strung them along or, you know, really used them in some way. There's there's somebody here, you know, they've really been through a lot in love. It's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. But, you know, I do feel like it has really caused this person to... Uh, behave differently when it comes to love and relationships especially with this forever changed whatever this is especially because i find that these are so interesting that these ones are connected for me and they are in blue too and these ones are in black i just find it to be interesting how they came through like that but uh i, I feel like they have kind of put up this guard or put up this wall they're afraid to like go all in because of whatever's happened to them in the past, right? Where they felt betrayed or they felt hurt or used. And it's a little bit, you know, uh, some fear, a little bit like they're punishing new people for past people's stuff. But, you know, we are just, we are where we are. And but I still feel like this person can't quite help but feel an interest in you or feel a pull towards you, especially the more that they get to know you. And a part of them does, I think, want to continue to get to know you. Um... But they don't know what to do here because they're having these uh, these worries come up, these feelings, this guard. But let's take a look. Show me this person's thoughts. What's going on in this person's thoughts when it comes to Taurus, please? Got the three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be dating, you know? Maybe, maybe I'm not ready for this. Two of swords in the reverse. And the high priestess in the reverse. You know, they really, they're having a hard time trusting their intuition. I feel like they don't trust their intuition, you know, because they feel like they, uh, and I feel like a lot of this is them blaming themselves. I'm going to be honest, they don't trust themselves and they don't trust their intuition when it comes to love and when it comes to dating because they feel like it let them down in the past, right? Or I didn't see it before, you know, so maybe I won't see it again. You know, they really have, they're really struggling with a huge lack of trust when it comes to just themselves,
it's like with this energy two of swords high priestess nervous it's like they just want to know you know especially with this ace of swords that just fall on top of it they just want to know how things are going to work out the fact that they can't see what's going to happen you know they're having a hard time with that but i do feel like they like communicating with you and they could they could tell you a little bit. Some of them are, you know, there could be a conversation coming up for some of you guys, especially with this Ace of Swords, where they open up or they express to you. Some of them maybe have already done this, you know, a little bit about what happened to them in the past, right? Show me what's going on in their feelings. How do they feel about Taurus? At the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I think they don't want to, like, they don't want to blow this. They don't want to miss an opportunity with you or blow this opportunity with you. But at the same time, they really want to figure out what they want to do. They're kind of at a standstill. I don't think it's a coincidence that it came out under this, I don't know what to do. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a card of like being very thorough and figuring out exactly what your next step should be or just, your next move. It's, it's a card that takes a long time and... You know, it can be a card of strategy and things as well. And I feel they, but at the same time, they don't want to take too long and miss their shot with you. Blow it. They don't know what to do here. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. I feel like they're worried that you're going to change your mind. Like have a change of mind or a change of heart about them because they are, you know, taking... A long time or they are wanting to move slower because they don't really know what they want to do or because they're having a hard time opening up to things they feel like you're going to change your mind about them or maybe that if you knew you know everything that was going on with them that you would change your mind about them what's going on with their show me their true intentions what are their true intentions when it comes to taurus the hermit i think they're just trying to figure it out the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. It's a little bit sad because I do feel like a part of them does... Like, they are really trying to, like, shine their light on the situation and really look within and really try to figure things out from kind of a higher perspective. I feel like a part of them does with that Four of Pentacles in the reverse want to break out of this space that they've been in as well as it's an energy of releasing i feel like they do want to let it go they want to let go of something that they've been holding on to something that's been keeping them stuck um but the wheel of fortune in the reverse it's like one of those things that are easier said than done and it's like they don't know they don't know when it's going to change they don't know when they're going to feel better it's almost like this energy of like i can't help how i feel like yes i do want to be able to let this go i do want to be able to open up but i don't know how to i'm not sure when i'm going to be able to feel better about it what action is this person going to be taking? The death card in the reverse. The nine of cups in the reverse. And the nine of swords. Yeah, I almost feel like this person is, is going back and forth and almost stuck and frozen. Like they're almost like freezing in place. So I don't feel like they want this to be over the death card in the reverse, but they don't know. Also, the death card also represents change. And I feel like they don't know when this feeling or this is going to change for them, when they're going to feel like they're going to be able to move forward. And I think that this card is really perfect for this, this forever change. I mean, like some of them have a lot of fears and worries that they're going to be like this forever, right? That they're always going to feel this way, that they're not going to be able to let this go or they're not going to be able to open up to anybody again. And I do think that that... Uh, I think it terrifies them. You know, I really do here, especially this Nine of Swords. They're upset about it. And they there's a strong desire to, yeah, I, of course I want to let this go. You know, I just don't know how. I don't know how to get past this. And there's something about you that's really, like, instigating this almost. Like, making them want to. Making them want to feel differently. Making them want to open up. Making them want to let go. You know, they're unhappy here. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Swords, they're really in their head. So if you're wondering why a person seems indecisive or seems like they're not sure, you know, what they want or things are moving very slow or failing to, like, take off, failing to get off the ground, you know, I, I do feel like a lot of it is is because of their past. And there is a strong desire here to, to move out of this energy. I think they're just trying to figure out how to. There is something about you that is making them want to. 
But that is what I have for you, Taurus. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.